Vitter and Dunedin band The Clean are set to be the newest inductees into New Zealand Music's Hall of Fame later this month. But as Dave Gooselink reports, it's an honour the band were reluctant to accept. It's a Kiwi classic, recognisable from the opening notes. Recorded in 1981 for around 50 bucks, Tally Ho became something of a signature song for Dunedin trio The Clean. Oh, that was one of the first songs I wrote. You know, with the clean, and that went top 20, so that was that was pretty cool, and it helped launch uh, Flying Nun label as well. The band have been together on and off for almost 40 years. Bass guitarist Robert Scott joining brothers David and Hamish Kilgour early on, creating a unique sound blending punk, jangly guitars, and psychedelic pop. Later this month, The Clean will join New Zealand Music's Hall of Fame. It's an honour they've turned down twice before, but hinted they may reconsider if the Silver Scrolls ever came to Dunedin. It was a wee bit tongue-in-cheek, but um, now they're doing it, so we thought, oh. And also, with the passing of uh, Peter Gutteridge, we thought that was a nice way of... Um, acknowledging his work. The Clean were a key band in what became known as the Dunedin Sound. DunedinMusic.com director Scott Muir says it was more of an attitude than a sound, but he's happy to see the city's contribution recognised. It's actually great to see that the New Zealand music industry is finally waking up and seeing what the rest of the world did see, which was that these bands have longevity and a good song's a good song's a good song. It's two years since the band last toured together, but they'll be able to hear someone else performing their songs when the Silver Scrolls hits their home city in a fortnight. Dave Gooselink, News Hub.